Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Osprey Metron, a cycling focused backpack that I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. Make sure to check out packhacker.com for the full written review. I'll leave a link down in the description below, and let's dive in. Okay, so you can very clearly see one of the features of the Metron right here out of the front is a dedicated way to attach a helmet. This is a bike bag after all. So this is the device that allows you to do that. And I really like it. It locks in there quite nicely. Um, so we just can pull it out. So just flip it over, it's kind of on a bungee, and boom, pulls out. You can also hide it underneath this kind of stretchy mesh front pocket. Now, originally, there's this kind of straight jacket size here, which reminds us of the Osprey Porter quite a bit. Originally, I thought you would put these over the helmet, but when you do that, it actually, the helmet will kind of push down into the main volume of the bag. So that's only a good idea if the main bag is on the empty side. Otherwise, you just kind of stick it on like that, and then it just hangs out on the outside of the bag. It's really, really nice little feature, and just totally melts away if you don't need it. So I'm gonna set this helmet off to the side now we can continue to look at the rest of the features on this bag. Overall, I really, really enjoyed testing this thing. So actually, there's a whole lot going on. So let's just start off with the harness system. Now, Osprey just makes great harness systems. Overall, a lot of their travel bags have good ones. And so do just their daily bags as well. Now this is a more active focus. So there's a little bit more going on than say something like the Arcane, which is a little bit more everyday focused. Up top here, we have these load lifters. These work really well for getting the bag close to your body. It's a really aerodynamic bag, so which makes sense when you're on your bike, it's very streamlined. Kind of reminds me of the Evergoods uh, Mountain Panel Loader V2 and the V1, I guess, for that matter. So check those reviews out on our site if you just want a bag like with similar aerodynamic look. But yeah, these, these little load lifters here really help kind of keep the bag nice and locked up on your back while you're using it and they totally work. All right, and then moving on down, we have these breathable mesh straps as well. So these are nice and comfy. There's a decent amount of padding and then there are actually these holes in them too, which you can see just for added breathability, which is good because this is a bag that you use on your bike. It's mainly for that. So that feature totally makes sense. And then at the top here, you've got these little loops so you can maybe like put a speaker on it if you're if you like to have that while you're riding your bike so you're not wearing your headphones, or you can carabiner some stuff off of it. Now, if you have the carabiner or whatever is on there, it might be flapping around in your face. I didn't really utilize these much because the bag just has so much good organization on its own, which we'll get into in a second, but I just didn't really use it much. One of my favorite sternum strap designs is here. It's just kind of on this rail. I like it because you can just dial it into exactly where you need it relatively quickly. And depending on what you have inside, you might have this positioned a little bit differently, so that's really easy. Built-in whistle up here at the top. These are ITW buckles too, so good quality whistle there if you just run into like an emergency or something like that and you wanna make a little bit of noise. And then yeah, we got the, the just standard kind of plastic adjusters down here at the bottom. One thing that this bag is missing is elastic keepers across. So there's one here on the sternum strap. It does an okay job, um, but yeah, you're not gonna get any of the straps here. You're not gonna get any on these Boulder hook straps, those just kind of flap out in the wind along with, um, yeah, these adjuster straps. And then you don't have them on the hip belt either. It's not really a hip belt, more of like a waist belt, I guess, because it doesn't hold any weight. But that's one thing maybe if I was gonna make a recommendation to Osprey, I mean, this is a biking bag and you're usually like flying down the street, you know, biking fast. And you kind of have these straps that can't really be managed unless you add something yourself, whether it's Velcro, or an aftermarket elastic keeper. You know, I feel like that's a little bit of a miss for such an active um, bag, but yeah, just note that. And then yeah, the waist strap at the bottom, really nice. I mean, doesn't really distribute weight, but definitely just locks this in on me while I'm biking, which I really, really like. This bag feels so good to have on my back when biking. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just awesome. Cool. So. Really not much else to cover on the waist strap. You just kind of have this excess material down here at the bottom that holds it all in place. And then for folding it back here, you can just see this Airscape 
back. So this is definitely inspiration from some of their hiking packs. You've got some mesh up here at the top too. The straps connect. Mesh back panel, you've got this ridged foam which just helps it be a lot more comfortable. Then you've got a little extra padding down here at the bottom. It's those ridges as well, just for some extra lumbar support. And then there is a stretch pocket here on the side as well. So if you have a water bottle, you can just stick that in there. Works out pretty well. On the other side, there's a pocket here, which we'll get into when we talk about the inside of the bag. Now there is a deployable rain fly down here at the bottom. Let me just give that a little bit of a better view for you. So rain cover, boom, Osprey labels everything with this bag as well, which is cool. Um, so if I pull that open, you can see we got this very nice visible green color. So if you are biking around, no one's going to miss you. If it's a cloudy, dark, rainy day, and even if you just want to put this on at night for added visibility, um, it's pretty close to the most viewable color to the human eyes that stimulates the cones and the rods in your eyes the most. It's kind of this yellow green. So it's very close to that color. It's going to be hard to miss you while you're biking around. I like the black colorway. It looks a little bit more streamlined, but if I was ever, you know, maybe on a longer ride or going through some rain, thunderstorm, you know, having this additional option is nice. Now this won't fit over your helmet, which is fine if it's stuck on the back here, because you should be wearing it anyways if you're biking. But hey, totally up to you. And then yeah, just kind of a little like tea toggle here to allow you to attach that rain cover. Um, little detail here too, there's an eyelet at the bottom. So if it is wet inside, I mean, you, you know, you want to dry this out, but it will drip out of this a little eyelet and there is some additional breathability as well. So there we go, got a YKK zip there at the bottom. Bag uses YKK zips too, uh, which is really nice. Okay, so just there's a lot going on with this bag, so I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything and that I cover everything that I possibly can for you. Again, a bit of a strappy mesh on the harness, on the harness system. Strappy mess, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, let me just make sure that I didn't miss anything for you here. Got the side. Side pocket we'll get into in a second. So let me, let's me let check out the front here because there's a lot going on too. So we already covered the helmet carrier, right? Now there is a tab down here at the bottom you can attach a bicycle light to. You've got this Metron logo down here at the bottom, nice and clean. And then also there are two of these structures on the side. And this is what they call their straight jacket compression really hugs things. It gives you that aerodynamic vibe that I really think is nice in one of these bike backpacks. And again, reminds me of the Osprey Porter. Okay, so just aluminum G hooks here, or boulder hooks, whatever you want to call them. That connects these two, which I think is totally fine. I'm personally fine with a plastic buckle, but it really allows you to cinch it down. And then when you do cinch it, you got a lot of extra strap though, which I don't like. Again, you're flying around in your bike. You know, you don't, you don't want to deal with that. So I wish they put in some elastic keepers there. I think that would improve the design. I'm just gonna open this up for now to give us a great view to the inside of the bag. I just have a rain jacket stuffed down there now. It's also a great place to put a U-lock inside of this exterior mesh pocket because it just kind of drops down. You can see the mechanism there for the helmet a little bit more closely with the two eyelets and the bungee coming out. And then yeah, ample amount of space on this exterior pocket. It stretches out quite a bit too. So if you have a bulkier jacket, that's going to be fine. You're going to get a bit of breathability through here too. If you got that lock, you just place it down there at the bottom, which totally works as well. Okay, so let me just set this rain jacket off to the side here, just like I did with the helmet. And yeah, I think that covers the majority of the external features. We do have a top handle up here on the top too that's nice and soft. And I got a bit of padding too, if you want to grab the bag by that or hang it up. Okay, so getting on it to the inside of the bag, we already covered the water bottle pocket, but there's this other side pocket here, which has that stretchy mesh-like material. So there's a bit of breathability here, probably not the most weatherproof pocket, but if you have something that you want a little bit of ventilation to, or like snacks or something like that, that's totally fine here. There's a bit of gusseting here as well, so it will uh, keep the pocket intact and then also create a little pouch down at the bottom to hold in smaller items. Um, there's about that much space to where there's that meshing on the side. So if you have like, I don't know, really small items you're carrying along with you, those won't just fly out. 
And then I just like the little touches like this, like there's this zipper garage up here at the top and it just kind of curves around, you know, it's got that aerodynamic design language that I just think looks really good. Normally, you know, there'd be just a zipper garage tacked on the end, but I really, I like that curve and I think it's so clean. And that's one of the things that really makes this a beautiful bag is just those clean lines and everything's very considered. Now, there's also this loop here on most of the zipper pulls, so you just put your finger in there and grab it. Really nice feature. All right, so there's the quick access pocket in the front. This is apparently a scratch-free pocket, so I've just got my Mac-sized iPhone in here. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Let me just show you the liner. It's a little bit different than the rest of the bag. So it's got this kind of circular, softer material as well on the front there. Pretty ample space, so it's about this size in the front. I usually put my EDC wallet, uh, EDC items in there that I take out of my pockets while I'm biking. So keys, phone, wallet, all that goes in here while I'm biking. And then for things that I access less frequently, I like to put into this pouch or this pocket on the front here. It's this horseshoe zip, goes down about, I would say maybe a quarter of the bag. Then I open that up. You can see that backing here. Key clip here for keys, which is nice. It's red, very visible. And then we have the three of those mesh pockets here. Um, so I do just have like a Bellroy wallet in there. You know, I've got a power bank in there and then like some sunglasses in here as well. So you got those mesh pockets and uh, there's kind of a, a liner divider too in the back for you to add additional things um, behind this middle one. And uh, there's a pen pocket behind this small one too. So really love the panel here. There's enough organization to where it feels good but not too much to where you're like, settle down, Osprey. And then down here at the bottom, you know, this goes all the way down. This front pocket goes all the way down to the bottom here. This stitching kind of reinforces it on the inside. So it's not really ideal. Um, you can get some stuff lost down there. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's there. I mean, just if the bag is full, it's kind of hard to access down there, but I think it's fine. All right, closing that up. And yes, let me just make sure we covered all the pockets for you. Now let me just open this main compartment <clears throat> in the back here. So a little bit bigger zippers. Now these aren't AquaGuard, so you know that rain cover is definitely gonna help, but they are reverse coil, so it can keep some dirt and some moisture out as you're biking around. And then the straight jacket thing helps a little bit too because it covers those zipper seams up. But let's get into the main compartment here. I'm just gonna open it up as wide as I can. So keep in mind when the straight jacket is on, you just kind of get a similar zipping experience to this top part, which is just kind of folds down. So if that's on, you kind of just get a similar experience. And then I've got my power bank in here that's kind of making it a little bit harder to access, but this is basically like a top loader when those straight jackets are on, these G hooks are buckled. When I undo them, you really just get full clamshell view of everything inside. Now this front part is for dirty clothing or shoes. So I've just got a pair of 10 and a half Vivo Barefoot Gobi 2s on the inside, a little bit beat up, but I just wanted to throw them in there just to show you. And hey, it's a pocket for dirty clothing and shoes as indicated by the very clear label as well. So that can go in there. You can see the um, backing reinforcement of those mesh pockets that are at the front. And yeah, this kind of unzips just a little bit on this side and then a lot on this side as well. So opening that up, there we go. Decent amount of space there. Now we can close that up. And then yeah, you're left with the main compartment. So I just have some, uh, you know, items to keep warm in here in case I'm going somewhere colder. And yeah, that rain jacket kind of juts into the bottom here a little bit, you can see. But other than that, just basically a pretty much just a big compartment. Laptop compartment is the back, which I really appreciate on the Osprey Farpoint. It's kind of in the front and it's a little bit weird, at least on the version we had tested a while back. I don't know if they switched that since then, but really love the laptop compartment on the back. You got this stretchy reinforced mesh pocket too. You've got a false bottom here as well on the laptop compartment to help just protect it a little bit more. So that ends before the, the bottom of the bag ends, which is always nice, that extra protection. Then you got a Velcro hook here 
ample size. So the target is big enough so you can kind of fat finger it closed at an angle and it will still completely lock. This also adds a little bit of visibility, the Osprey logo there, which is nice. Not only it adds some branding for them, but a little bit of visibility as well. And then yeah, I've got my 15 inch MacBook Pro inside of here. And then on this front flap, put like tablet or notebooks, things like that. I've just got my notebook here as well. So I'll just set that off to the side too. All right, and yeah, there's just like a, a reinforced stay up here just to add a little bit more rigidity and protection. And then you've got this foam liner there as well. And then decent back panel along with that too. You can see that it's got a little bit of structure to it, but it's not anything too crazy. It maintains that flexibility so you can really curve this around your back and get it super aerodynamic while you're biking. And I would normally clean up all the straps and stuff, but there's a lot going on as you can see. So there you have it, that is the Osprey Metron. Head over to packhacker.com to check out our full review. Link down in the description below, and we will see you in the next video.